As you read it in the title, today I'm going to be showing you the best game user settings. Now, this season, something has changed. The game user settings have changed drastically. Like there's a lot more options and in your actual folder for your game user settings, it's a little more confusing. So we're going to dive into that today. I'm going to do some of it proactively, but for the most part, I know what I'm doing and I'm going to be here to guide you and help you boost your performance in Fortnite. So if it helps, drop a like. Let's see how fast this video can get 100 likes and subscribe. So starting off, how you get into your game user settings, you probably know this it is a little bit different now but what you want to do is type in percent local app data percent and then it should come up file folder if it does not you can type in run and then just type in the same thing so local app data send and then it will come up like this you then want to press f on your keyboard or just find fortnite game fortnite game saved config windows client and now there's a ton of options so many i, I don't know why there's just way more options than usual this should be for everyone who has done the recent update and you know if you're playing fortnite chapter three no fortnite chapter two season three sorry but yeah you should have so many more options what you want to do is first of all just find game user settings it's like a little bit of the way down uh just double click in this we're gonna start here first and then we're gonna go into the other things just kind of have a look at them and see if there's anything that we can change that that is like drastic a lot of it's for like the little other game modes that don't really relate to your main you know fortnite your arena your rank your creative but we'll have a look also if you want to just download this file and just trust my vision you can do that join my discord it'll be linked in my discord because you know we can't put this kind of file in my youtube description you can definitely leave my discord after i don't mind and in general, I just recommend you watch this video because there will be some stuff that may affect your game if you don't update them. Starting off right at the top, cosmetic streaming enabled, have this set to code set underscore disabled. If this says enabled, just write disabled here. Just change it. Be motion blur, have this set to false. If it says true, change it to false. Be show grass right under there. If make sure this is on false. Again, if it says true, just write in false. Also, side note, if you don't want to search this stuff, you can go to edit and then go to find and just like search up whatever and it'll go to it. But moving on, GPU crash debugging turn that to false or write false stop rendering in background have that on false for anti-aliasing method have that on disabled enable dlss frame generation false temporal super resolution quality on custom and then make sure the dls quality is set to zero all of this set to zero so false and then zero 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 ray tracing false 120 fps mode false front end frame limit 120 this actually doesn't really matter that much as long as these two are both set to false so energy saving anything energy saving always have that on false literally universally ensure your display gamut is set to what mine is set to so 2.7 with six oh wait sorry five zeros use interface contrast 1.6 zeros be disabled mouse acceleration people say this is a placebo but placebo psychologically works so have this set to false opposed to true yours is probably on true be allow full game download have that on false be allow cellular download have that on false be auto launch full game false be download high res mips very important and have this on false these are semi-important so just you know you can double check their set but they should be all good by like default be use vsync and dynamic resolution have them both set to false unless obviously you use vsync you probably don't so have that on false and you also probably don't want to be using vsync unless you have like a really bad pc and average less than 60 fps my resolution size x and y i have mine set to 1920 by 1080 this is because i use my monitor's native resolution if you use stretch resolution or if you have like any what lower resolution you can you'll probably know so you will have to update this yourself last confirmed full screen mode make sure that's on zero this is considered full screen preferred full screen mode that needs to also be on zero that's considered full screen lowest input lag audio quality level have this on zero this is considered high so if you don't want high audio quality level set this to one i don't know why you'd think that zero was low and then one was high because they're the only two options but no just make sure this is on one if you want low quality audio but for the most part i have mine on i guess for the most part you would want it on low so no number one because it's better for frames but a lot of pros are using this it gives you a competitive advantage and it doesn't really decrease your performance that much maybe like 10 fps on average so yeah it's up to you frame rate limit you will have to change this based on your frame rate always go one above your monitor's refresh rate unless you are on 240 hertz in that case go with 240 and scrolling down ray tracing i think we already touched on this but it was somewhere else above as well i think but have that on false scalability groups very 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 important resolution quality have this on 99 or anywhere in in the range of 90 to 99 unless you have a really bad pc like i'm talking awful and you really need to squeeze fps you can probably put this on 75 but it will make your game look a lot worse but anywhere from like 90 to 99 it's gonna definitely boost your fps opposed to having it on 100 scientifically proven technically like just do the maths but kind of trust me on this one it's gonna help like literally try it for yourself and again in those ranges it's not gonna really affect your you know quality that much unless you're going to 75 but that wasn't the range i discussed you know it's only if you have a bad pc view distance quality now everything 
thousand here needs to be on sorry zero foliage quality set that to zero that is something that has actually changed this season that reset i've only just noticed this make sure that's on zero it's a new thing i think actually view distance quality though i have mine on one because it's medium and what that does is it helps render things like weapons when i'm a little bit further away and before i've engaged into a fight if not let's say you run to a set of builds you've seen builds but the guns have not loaded in when you get to the set of builds it's then gonna load them guns in and then you're essentially probably already in the fight at this point you've engaged and you've like interacted in this fight and then what's happened is you've got these guns rendering in now if they render in when you're a little further back before you've probably engaged in this fight it's better for you because you won't get the fps drops during the fight that's how i see this proven a lot of pros are on this wave and they're using medium view distance quality and everything else here is some of these actually can affect your performance let's say like a friend invite pops up during your gameplay i have mine turned off i think here pretty sure this is what this is as far as i remember i've turned them off and yeah if they pop up during gameplay it will affect your performance your fps will drop slightly and you can get a kind of fps drop an fps spike and it could actually throw the game it could generally throw the game especially if you have a bad pc so mine are off totally up to you but no one really speaks about this it's kind of wild but when that's done press file save and after going through all of these other ones it seems none of them actually affect the game at all most of them relate to the new like fortnite jam stuff and the minecraft crafting but nothing cha you change here could actually really affect anything it's kind of like it'll probably just break your game if anything needs a scripts so it's kind of how the game runs on a back end and you do have an option to you know you can change this i i really don't know what any of this means there's no option to change to like true or false so you can't turn it on and off but i think if you delete this and like press file save your tactical sprint would break essentially it would break so yeah don't mess with them i know it's confusing i guess that's the main reason i wanted to make this video as well because this is it confused me for sure i thought they literally separated game user settings entirely into separate folders to make it harder to edit for some reason but turns out they didn't it's just still it's old you know the same old game user settings with slightly few more options